Hey everyone, so a quick lesson today. I've just been seeing lots of comments and questions around gap uh, and padding variables or what you might call your spacing variables. So we're gonna look at how to add those gap and padding or gap and spacing variables, gap padding, spacing variables, whatever you wanna call it, um, to just some components here. So let me open up the local variables. So I can see we've got our gap variables, some vertical and horizontal padding variables across desktop and mobile. So we're gonna show how to set that, how they come in handy and really what they are so you can incorporate them into your designs. Um, what I will be using today, for, like these components here, they are a part of our paid design system. If you don't have components or you don't have a design system, that's fine. Just use any local components that you might have already in your Figma space and you'll be able to follow along. So let's dive in. So here I am in the UI Collective uh, design system and I'm just gonna bring in two frames. Let's go iPhone 14 and a desktop. There we go, or a MacBook. And now I'm just gonna bring in uh, a couple components. So let's start off by bringing in, let's maybe bring in a card, not the icon. Let's go with a, uh, let's go with a card image. We'll uh, set this to our horizontal. And let's also just bring in, let me wanna bring in, maybe let's bring in an input. There we go. So maybe you have an input along the top, maybe you have a card. I don't know, again, again, just for the purposes of this exercise, it's not gonna be the biggest and best uh, UI. So let's go into our local variables now and let's create some spacing and uh, or some gap and padding variables. So let's, it's gonna be a number variable, let's just say gap. And then let's also do uh, for padding, we're gonna call this to our desktop because again, this is gonna represent the gap and the padding uh, on our desktop and let's also do uh, on our mobile. So let's just experiment here. I don't really have any numbers down right away. That might work. Again, this is, sorry, that's bugging me. I'm just going to move that off to the side. Um, so for our gap, let's just start off with, I don't know, like 50 and, and 50, and then 10 and 10, something like that. So let's, what I'm gonna do is actually gonna select the card uh, and the input, and I'm going to add auto layout. So shift A, or you can also right click and add your auto layout. And that exposes uh, our auto layout section here on the right hand side. So now what I wanna do is actually apply uh, some variables to let Figma know that I want the gap and the padding variables um, applied here, because again, this is our desktop frame. Um, so let's start off with our padding. Uh, so let's go, actually, maybe we'll get a little tricky here. Uh, let me just open, reopen up our uh, local variables. This will be our padding uh, horizontal or vertical and padding horizontal, just to show you the difference between that we can separate them out. They don't all need to be the same. Horizontal, can't spell. And so again, this, let's set this maybe to 25. We'll slash it uh, by two. Uh, 25 and 5. So I'm going to then apply uh, the horizontal padding, excuse all these other uh, variables I have here. So this will be our padding horizontal. And then I can see that that padding is then shifted uh, to 25 horizontally. And then vertically, what we're going to do is apply that. And I can see that this is set to 50. And this is set uh, to 25. One thing I can also do as well is adjust the gap. So the gap is just the space between elements, whereas the padding is the space around those elements of, as a whole. So I'm going to apply the variable gap, and that's gonna set that uh, to 50. And actually, that kind of looks a little funky, actually. Sorry, I'm getting picky now. <laughs> Let's reduce this to 20. Um, there we go. So now that looks uh, a little bit better. So now I have that space around the outside. So say I did bring in another element. Uh, maybe let's just bring in like a text layer. So let's set call this uh, heading. So I'm going to set this to our uh, heading XL. And again, all these stylings and components I'm using, this is part of the UIC design system. And let's set this to our heading, text headings. There we go. So we have a heading. And now I'm going to add auto layout. And what this does is it makes sure uh, that our heading does not bleed in to the padding, which we had set earlier, which is 50. So, and if just as an example, if I was to adjust this padding, so maybe let's adjust it in real time. So let's say our padding vertical is to 20. Look what happens. Everything shifts up, 
and I'm just going to set that back to 50. There we go. So also too, uh, how, how might this work on a mobile? So I'm just going to actually just remove that heading for now. And what we want to do is if we go back to our local variables, I can see that we set this to our desktop. So we have a mode for our desktop and a mode for our mobile. And what we want to do is let Figma know that this is our desktop. Our desktop, there we go. And what I'm going to do is just simply bring this in just like that. But Figma doesn't know that this is our mobile frame yet. So we need to let Figma know that this is our mobile frame indeed. But now we run into an issue is we could just collapse it like that. Ideally, everything would adjust individually. Where is it? There we go. Everything does adjust. But what we need to do is actually we want this entire frame uh, to reset. So we want to actually specify the width of the overall frame. So if I, yeah, so we got our frame here and let's just call this container and local variables. So now let's specify the width for the overall frame. So it's going to be a number. So let's go uh, uh, container on our desktop. Let's see what number we're working close with here. Let's go 664, maybe let's go uh, 650. 650, and on mobile, let's maybe go 320. And I'm going to specify that width on our desktop to our container. There we go. And this to do, 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 do our container. But we run into an issue is that I can see here that our elements do, don't actually adjust. So and that's because what we want to do is set it to fill the container and not hug the contents itself. So I'm just going to adjust everything. It's going to fill the container and then this is going to fill the container. And I can see here that our width is set to 320. And let's just double check our elements here. So yeah, we've got our gap of 10, again, which we have specified in the local variables, gap of 10, again, that vertical padding of 10, horizontal padding of five. And if I check in, that looks like five. And at the top, that appears to be 10. Perfect, there we go. So that's just a quick introduction into your padding and gap variables um, within Figma. And just to wrap it up, here's your friendly reminder to sign up for uicollective.co. Uh, you're home for everything design systems. You can learn to build a design system uh, or also uh, you can buy our pre-made design system right here. And here's just our preview file uh, where you get access to all these Unreal components uh, across light mode uh, and dark mode. It's about 50 plus components, uh, 3000 plus uh, different combinations of properties, variants, uh, best design system you'll find. And I'll leave the link for this in the description below. See you online, UI Collective.